I think there are lots of big trends going on in the world, both in terms of demographics, people are getting older, the societies are getting older, much more people in the globe, uh, climate may, may be changing, and I, I think most of this will play to the favor of, of the Nordic countries, the Nordic countries and to Canada, even to Russia if it plays, plays itself out well, and, and parts of, of the US. There is uh, more resources will be available in the north, uh, the north will be, uh, and the northern part of the, of, the, of the world will be more inhabitable. Uh, and then the question is, what do we do about it? Will we have systems that work, systems of law and of pensions and of of uh, healthcare and so on? And I think we have all the right tools there. You just have to assemble them in a correct manner. I came here just to learn more about uh, investment opportunities in the Nordic region as well as just getting a broader picture. Well, I just wanted to find out more about the uh, uh, the Nordic countries and your economic future and uh, I'm Norwegian descent. I was interested in the um, comment by the fellow from Iceland that he sees developing as a northern band of countries, and in the case of the United States, northern states that would be somehow interacting through trade or development, which is an interesting idea. It sounds like a very interesting um, event with, uh, for example, Edmund Phillips, who's kind of a big shot, um, and then also because of the cocktails. Good evening. Pleasure to be here at this interesting event. Uh, another trend I think we have to worry about is Europe. Um, I've been a Europe skeptic for quite a while now. I think there must be an enormous emigration out of France and Italy and uh, no doubt some other countries and um, and I think recent events have been very demoralizing for Europe. And so I, I, I think maybe we're going to have to get accustomed to a world in which Europe is a very small part of things. What will happen to uh, Western culture as we know it? I, I, I don't know where we're heading, but it certainly seems as if that culture is no longer as dominant. In, in in the world as uh, as it was, let's say, in the second half of the 19th century, um, and that for me is uh, something to um, worry about because I think that this Western culture of um, vitalism and modernism is uh, a key part of uh, the rise of uh, modern capitalism, I don't know whether we can do without that, whether it's like a rocket ship, whether we can, whether we can uh, chuck off that, that booster rocket and still keep on going or, 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 or not. But I, I, think, uh, I think those are, um, those are, those are uh, trends that I worry about. One of the new trends in the world is that is entitlements. Entitlements in the United States in present discounted value terms uh, were at the beginning, I guess, of last year or at the end of 2011, uh, were $66 trillion. Now, of course, as you get closer and closer to the time when those entitlements will have to be paid, just as a matter of arithmetic, the present discounted value gets higher and higher. So. Already, probably, we're looking at 70 trillion. So, I mean, that's that's uh, that's very nearly uh, uh, five times the GDP uh, of um, in the United States. So that's 500 percent of the GDP, or let's say 600 percent of disposable income. So those numbers I read before, the 515 percent for the U.S have to add about 600% to take care of the entitlements, which are the social wealth, which are a part of how wealthy people feel. So we, we, the new trend that I'm talking about is that we're just creating this 
massive thing that we have no experience with, that we could that we only barely learned to measure in the past year or so, and we just don't know how this is going to come out. Whether whether this is, will be the uh, end of prosperity, or or whether um, or whether it's not going to work that way, or whether yes, it works that way, but we can do something about it. One of the things we could try to do about it is to speed up productivity. productivity. Previously, when the government created an entitlement or ran a deficit, there was no alarm because it was always assumed that the country would grow out of that debt, grow out of that entitlement. Um, but since 1975, the United States has not had rapid productivity growth. So it's very difficult for us to grow out of anything. But uh, we, if, we was be some, if there was some way of speeding up productivity growth, and maybe the Chinese will help here, uh, that would help to deal with our uh, wealth problem. Thank you very much.